So here is where we kind of, it's like a doodle pad. It's bringing all your dreams <laughs> to true to reality. Now here I'm going to do some little doodles of flowers. Let's do some flowers. I'm feeling pretty, 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 pretty flowers. Okay, cool. And some other stuff. Now, as you'll notice that the right area is looking at what I'm doing and is trying to, current, well, currently is trying to guess and respond to my creative. Um, if I want to help it out, I can add into a prop. So a 3D render of, um, uh, what's a particular flower? I don't know. Um, a rose, flowers, um, modern, trendy 3D design, something like that. Um, okay, so here we have... And depending on where I put the creative creativity strength is how closely it's going to respond to my doodling versus responding to like taking charge on going and going with it and having a fun time. Um, okay, so if we put here, put it a bit lower, um, and then you can go and use again whether what the style is. So I'm going to go into da -da -da, maybe do some ray trace stuff or product. Maybe we'll do product for now. Um, okay, so this is a good way of getting like ideas out quickly. Um, and you can use this feature up at the top called Instant Refine. And so what it's going to do is it's going to quickly look at um, what I've created and refine it to a place that makes it a little bit better and higher quality. So I can't show if you can see on the screen, but that's definitely um, rendered a, quite a bit nicer. Now, this output to input will take what is in this right window and put it back as like the beginning starting point. So I'm going to take it across and I'm going to keep adding and doodling. Now, I also have the ability to do some really cool in, in, um, uh, in the canvas editing of using generative tools again. So it's doing it layered on top of that. So I'm going to add um, a B. I want to add a little a B. Sure. Do we like that one? Do we want a better one? Okay. Screw it. I'll take, uh, I don't know if that would be, I'll take that B. Okay. We'll take that one. Now this is a remove background feature. So I'm just going to quickly remove the background on that one. Um, and here we go. And we can put that there and I'm going to add um, a 3D render of rose flowers with um, bumblebees, bumblebees. I don't know. There we go. And I'm going to give it higher creativity so it can kind of run with it. You'll notice there's like a duplicate. So if you're trying to like come up with a particular pattern or a style or um, maybe you're trying to build out a scene, we can we can do stuff like this. And so if you're trying to like build a sketch, like a, like just an early, early stage ideas, these are quite a fun way to kind of, yeah, go about doing that. <laughs> um, okay. And let me... Bump up creativity quite high. I'm gonna go back lower. Okay, sure, that's fine for now. And I'm gonna instant refine again. And I'm going to, okay, so I've got this thing that I've created and I'm gonna press download. And so that way I have this image kind of like saved and ready to go. 